409 plus box general PDF files of exercises and answers exercises old exam papers open it One by one, you want to test a hypothesis to determine whether the average GMS score for all applicants is at most 520. What is the most appropriate alternate alternative hypothesis? So, average mean GMS score x mu of x only one variable, and testing mean mean is at most 520 or more than 520. This is one sample t test. 1.2 median so this is to find median 1 1.3 based on the following time series in a time series topic estimate the value so you have to use the estimation by least squares equation you know, y hat is a plus bt 1 by 4, if you are conscious driver, conscious consumer is considering buying one of four economy motor cars, he estimates that 80% off and so on. And payoff table, yeah, payoff table, topic 7 decision theory 1.4, convert the above payoff table to opportunity loss table, okay, this is also topic. Decision theory 1 by 5, a sequence plot of 5 years of monthly data is shown below, which is which of the following best describe the plot? Random, random plus seasonal, seasonal, this is straight line trend, and so on. Cyclic plus seasonal, this is uh, one, 9 series, yeah, topic H. 1 by 6, Bernoulli trial, probability, 2 such sizes, this is a binomial distribution, 1 by 7, uh, re normal distribution with mean standard deviation, what is the probability, so this is about normal distribution, reading table, finding probability, finding probability is finding area, 2, you were asked by a friend to engage in flipping a coin for money. Your friend would win a dollar each time a head approved, while you would win a dollar for each trial T that appeared. After 20 flips, you are you were down by six. That is, you have lost six dollars since the coin was provided by the friend. The coin was provided. You begin to wonder if the coil was loaded, loaded or fair, yeah, the coil head and tail, loaded or fair. Fair means the chance to get head and the chance to get tail are equal and equally 0.5 each, one half each. This is fair. If not fair, loaded. Loaded means maybe more likely to get head, maybe more likely to get tail like this. You want to perform a two-sided test, two-tail test. Hypothesis at five percent level to know whether the coin was the coin was loaded. The coin was loaded, so <coughs> the coin has only two phases: head and tail. Equal or fair or loaded. Loaded means pi is dot point five. Yeah. The probability to get head is not 0.5, maybe more, maybe less. Yeah? So, this is side test you have to use. You can use chi square good 
goodness of it, that's for, that's also. But you better use scientists for only two cases like this, plus and minus. You better use scientists. Yeah. After that, one point. Ah. Uh, Okay, two is fine. There are three. During the first thirteen weeks of the television season, the Saturday evening, eight p.m. to nine p.m. audience program, nine twenty-nine percent, twenty-eight twenty-five. Our percentage is given twenty-nine plus twenty-eight is fifty-seven. Fifty-seven plus seventy-five. 82, 82 plus 18, independent, 100. So the population of audiences yeah, are uh, divided into four parts. Is sample of 300 homes, sample size N is 300. Uh, two weeks after is Saturday and so on, what is this? <coughs> Viewing audience data. Yeah? 95 homes, 70 homes, frequencies, you see, frequencies. If you add 95, 70, 89, 46, you will get the total sample size and total frequency. That's at point zero five to determine the audience proportion chain. The audience proportion chain means uh, frequency, observed frequency, 95, 70, 89, 46, uh, at the same percentages as 29%, 28%, 25 or 18 This is checking the proportions of the parts of the population. Therefore, this is chi-square goodness of a test in topic 5. Okay. 4. People live in the mountain region claim that many of their neighbors live past 100 years of age. A researcher wants to perform an upper sided test. Upper sided test is uh, right drill test, you say, yeah, right drill test. At 5% level to determine whether such longevity is directly related to the consumption of locally grown rat, little bit, bagas. Mm. The researcher randomly selects and interview 15 residents of the mountain region. A rank of one has been assigned to the lowest age and to the <coughs> lowest level of rutabaga consumption. The data are as follows. Uh, resident number 1, 2, 3, 4. So, after that you see age rank, rutabaga consumption rank, so two samples you can see. Yeah, three samples, three variables, but the first variable is only used for matching the next two. Yeah, age rank and rutabaga consumption rank. <coughs> the data are ranks, therefore 1 to 15, 1 to 15, like this. Uh, therefore, ordinary measurement. Ordinary measurement of is 6. You know, number I'm like that you have to use. Uh, what is it? That's. Uh, Longevity is directly related to the consumption. Therefore, this is a relationship of two ordinary variables. Therefore, Sophiaman, this is. Sophiaman is for the relationship between two nominal variables, two uh, ordinary variables. Yeah. <coughs> Five. A researcher wants to test a hypothesis at 5% level to determine whether a 40 minute walk out of one of the different activities, swimming, tennis, cycling, uh, you want to compare three activities in which way. Three days a week will lead to a loss of weight, weight loss, uh, which, which spots will lead to the best weight loss, something like that, yeah? The data on the number of calories per during 40 minutes workout for three different activities cannot be assumed to be normally distributed. That means <coughs> not normally distributed. If you cannot assume that the data are not normally distributed, 
then you cannot use parametric tests. Yeah? You cannot use before midterm tests. You can use only topics 5 and 6. Maybe chi square scientists. Yeah, Whitney Wilcox, Kruska Wallace, VMA, that means. Yeah. Uh, normally distributed with equal variance of the activity, three activities, calorie pants. You want to compare three main, yeah, three main weight loss says. So this is ANOVA. Yeah, you want to compare three means ANOVA, but non-parametric ANOVA, yeah, topic six. This is called Kruska Wallace ANOVA. You have to use for five. How about six? Six is uh, you see contingency table perform a chi square goodness of chi square test of independence. So topic six. A topic five pens were test of independence given. Yes, the table has two variables, row variable major, three majors, accounting, finance, other. And column variable is degree. Yeah, there are three degree programs, VVA, MVA, TVA. Okay, this is topic five. You know. Seven a regional package delivery company is considering changing from full size vans to mini vans. The company assembled mini vans for three manufacturers. Each mini van was driven for 5,000 miles and the operation cost per mile was computed. The data on operation cost in the sense per mile for the 12 mini vans cannot be assumed to be normally distributed. That means not normally distributed, then you cannot use parametric tests. Only non-parametric, yeah, topics 5 or 6. So, you have to use only them. At 5 percent level, perform a test to determine whether there is no difference in average operation cost. So, average mean operation cost test variable. X uh, for the 3 minimum Three, three types of mini fans. So you want to compare three means. This is ANOVA, but not normally distributed. Then non-parametric ANOVA. This is double six Kruska Wallace. Kruska Wallace. That's eight. A bank branch located in a commercial district of a city has developed an improved process for serving customers during the non noon to 1 p.m. lunch period. The waiting time of all customers during this hour is recorded over a period of one month over one week. A random sample of 15 customers is selected and the data are analyzed with a parametric method. So this is about parametric tests, yeah? topics, step one, topics, one, two, three, simple relation, multiple relation, NOVA. Perform a test hypothesis at 5% level to determine, now it now comes uh, hypothesis, whether the mean waiting time is less than, yeah? mu of A is less than 5, this is one somebody test, okay, next one, nine. A business school accrediting agency has developed an outcome measure test for graduating business school students. The test asked last semester seniors a number of questions about topics in business and economics that they have studied. They have course for at one school, a random suburb of 13 students took the test. Included in this group are where four marketing majors, yeah, well, four marketing major, four management major, five accounting major, studying students, yeah, four, four, five. Uh, the data on test codes are consumed to be normally distributed. So that means you have to use parametric test. At 5% level, perform a test to determine whether there is no difference in average scores among three academic majors. 
average mu score mean uh, x yeah, mu of x is the same for three majors you have to compare three means parametric tests therefore one way nova yeah. 